Hi, welcome to my video. Today, I'm going to show you how to do data validation in MS Excel spreadsheet. Now, you can use data validation to prevent certain types of data entry errors when you are typing data into cells. Take note that it doesn't prevent all types of errors, but at least it prevents some uh, data entry errors, especially errors of data range uh, when you are typing data into cells. Where can you find this particular feature? You can find it in the data menu and in the data validation button or command. Let's just jump into it. Here I have uh, my inventory table and in this inventory table, uh, let's just focus on column D. We have reorder level. It's a number column. So what I want to do is I want to make sure that uh, whatever values that will be entered or subsequently any corrections being made to the reorder level stay within 5 to 300. So I don't have any reorder level that's below 5 and I don't have any reorder level that's above 300 and my reorder level can only be whole numbers. So we don't accept decimals in this particular column. Um, so how can I do that? using data validation let's take a look at it first what you need to do is you need to select the affected area in this case it's column d from row 4 right down to row 28 you can also do this to a column that has yet to have values in them in other words an empty column uh, so when you enter the data uh, next time when the data is already uh, in your hands and you enter the data, uh, the data validation rules are already in effect. So step number one is to select the column, click on uh, or select the affected area, click on data and data validation is somewhere here on the right hand side of the menu. So that's the button. Let me just zoom in. So there it is, data validation in the data tools group. So click on data validation here. And this um, dialog box will appear. So this is where you set your data validation rules. Uh, at this moment, the column is basically allowing any values to be uh, typed into it. So you just want it to be, or rather you just want it to accept from 5 to 300 and it must be whole numbers. So drop down, click on whole number, just take a look at all the other options. You can have decimal, you can have a certain date range, you can have time, you can even control the text length. So here I would just click on whole number. Between minimum 5 and maximum 300. Now the range here, just take a look at the other options. You have uh, a choice of between, not between, equal to, greater than, and so on. Okay, but what we want is between. So allow whole number between minimum 5 and maximum 300. Click on error alert to craft an error message. So if anybody enters a data that is beyond this range, uh, they'll get an error message. So I just click on error alert. And over here, title. I can just put, for example, uh, reorder level mistake. All right, so must be between 5 and 300 whole numbers only. Please change or any other error message uh, that you think makes sense for your environment. So the title and the error message is uh, up to you. Uh, how do you want to word it? Once done, click on OK. So once again, uh, set your rules here in the settings page and set your error message here in the error alert page. So once done, just click on OK. Let me just zoom out. Okay, let's do a test. Now, if I were to enter, for example, 3, 
there it is the error message must be between 5 and 300 whole numbers only please change so i'll have to cancel or retry if i do uh, for example uh, 100.2 which is within the range but it's not a whole number now as you can see i'll get the same error message right so it has to be like whole numbers between 5 to 300 so that's it folks that's how you do data validation in this case to um, prevent some uh, number data errors uh, from being uh, typed into uh, selected areas if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you have not subscribed to my channel uh, do so uh, and also leave some comments in the comment section of the video and hit the notification icon so that you will be uh, notified of any new videos that I'm going to add to this channel in time to come.